Hey, hey. Down, 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 down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. That's the Iowa Tiger. Okay. Hey, this is Tony Stewart, also known as Blessed Brother. Angie Stewart, Blessed Sister. And we have a great topic for you tonight. The topic is... Why is better to wear out than rust out? Why is better to wear out than rust out? And I tell you, um, well, before I get into this, definitely check out blessedbrother.com. Find out what we're doing there. I just got a text from a gentleman who's excited about what we have going on and wants to be a part of it, and uh, he's going to be a part of it. He's going to do well. So I, I encourage you to check out what's going on at blessedbrother.com. Now, why it's important to wear out than rust out? You know, I'm thinking about a couple of guys right now, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and um, Sylvester Stallone. One just put out a movie that, um, frankly, did not do so well. And the other one has another movie coming out. Uh, Sylvester Stallone put out a movie called Rambo, Last Blood. And uh, it was definitely a, a, a action-packed movie and everything. Uh, as an action lover, I liked that movie from that perspective. Angie didn't like it. She did not, not so like much. the movie. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger has a Terminator movie coming out. And uh, again, and even Linda Hamilton is in it. The reason why I mention these people in particular is because these are stars who are action stars in the 80s. Wow. Here it is many years later, and they're still putting out action movies. You see, they're choosing to wear out as opposed <laughs> to rust out, okay? And I say that because that's what you want to do with your life as well. You want to take every day and do, do what Ed Milet calls maxing out. Get the most that you can from a day. So that when you hit the bed, I'm telling you what, you lay in that bed and you fall asleep fast. And the reason why you fall asleep fast is because of all the stuff you got done. You know, and then you get up in the morning, you got to spring in your stuff because you are on your way to your goals and dreams. I want to encourage you with that because every day counts. Every day counts towards what you want to do with your life. Every day counts towards the success you want to have. And if you don't take that seriously, if you think a day is a day is to lay down and not do anything and miss out, then you're, going to, you're messing up. Now, let me clarify a point there. Stephen Covey, years ago, before Stephen Covey was the big person he was with the seven habits of highly effective people, I had the unique honor of going to a class and watching him teach us these concepts. And the funny thing about it, again, this is before Stephen Covey was Stephen Covey. He got up there and he had a very dry delivery. And he talked about the seven steps of, or, you know, the highly effective people and all that. And it was dry, but it was solid. And as a result of that, many people have gone on to be blessed by that book. Mm. Well, let me tell you something. One of those steps is sharpen the ax. And what does that mean? That means that even though you're punching, 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 going to your goals and dreams, there does, there is wisdom in taking the time to relax, catch your breath, and set yourself up for your next round of hitting it. Okay? So, yes, you want to wear out rather than rust out. Rust out is just sitting there. You know, just sitting there saying, well, my best days are behind me. I remember oh, no. what I did in high school. I was the, you know, Married with Children. If you remember that old movie, uh, the old TV show, Married with Children with Al Bundy. The funny thing about that was Al Bundy always looked back on his high school days as being the best days of his life. He hated the life he had. He felt like he had no future. And he was always looking back and trying to relive the glory of the past instead of forging forward toward the future. He was rusting out, okay? You want to wear out. You want to be able to go to sleep every night and say, I did the best I can with this day. I maximize the day. I'm one day closer to my goals right. and dreams. And the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Now, how do you do this? How do you do this when, 
you, you know, if you're trying to please man or you're trying to please people around you, I submit to you that the answer is not in trying to please other people. The answer is in this scripture. Mm -hmm. Take it away, Angie. All right. So the scripture comes to you from Colossians 3.23. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, not unto man. That and the Passion Translation is, put your heart and soul into every activity you do as though you are doing it for the Lord himself and not merely for others. You know, so there's a movie, I keep using these pop ref culture references. I hope you're enjoying them. But there's a movie called The Blues Brothers. And in that movie, The Blues Brothers, those dudes, uh, Elroy and Jake, man, I don't remember this stuff, I had no idea. But Elroy and Jake Blues were two brothers who, were, who went through all kinds of stuff to, to raise money for an orphanage. And every time they ran up against some adversity, what did they say? They said, we're on a mission for God. That was their whole phrase. And they went through all kinds of stuff with all confidence because they said, we are on a mission for God. Now, I want to submit to you that whether they were or not, you are. Mm -hmm. And if you're willing to give God the glory in all your triumphs, yes. he, will get, he will stand behind you and you are more than a conqueror That's right. because of whose you are. Mm -hmm. Because of whose you are. Mm -hmm. So you do all things as unto the Lord. You know, there's an old saying that, you know, work as if it all depends on you, but pray as if it all depends on God. Interesting statement, but I'll tell you this, work as though you're doing it for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Not for people around you. Work as though you're doing it for the Lord, and you will see success. That's right. So that's my encouragement to you today. Again, go to blessedbrother.com. We're putting feet to these concepts, and we're brand building a whole team of folks, folks all around the world who are taking this message and using it to bless their lives and the lives of those around us. Blessedbrother.com, check it out, and we will touch base with you tomorrow. All right, until then, see ya.